Hey guys, it's Sonia. So what I have for you today is my spring favorites. Um, I decided to do this video a little bit early just because I have uh, so many things that I'm really loving right now and I decided to just go ahead and share everything with you um, because summer is right around the corner and I'm sure I will have more stuff that I love too. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I have quite a bit to show you. So the first three things that I have to show you today are all Lush products. Uh, the first thing you, I'm sure you've seen on my channel before, this is the Lust Perfume by Lush. And this is a jasmine and I think rose. Yeah. Jasmine Absolute and Rose Absolute. And then there's like vanilla and stuff like that. But the main uh, scent that you get from this is Jasmine, which is my absolute favorite smell ever. This is really awesome for spring. It just smells so good. Like, I cannot stress how good this stuff smells. Um, but all of Lush's like perfumes and stuff like that smell just as good. I'm just partial to Jasmine. And since we're still talking about Jasmine, I'll show you my next favorite. This is, I know this looks kind of weird in this little tin here. Ugh. And then it spilled water on me because I just washed my hair. Anyways, so this is a shampoo bar. Oh my god, it's just dripping water all over me. Alright, you guys saw it. I'm just going to set that down now. Um, so this shampoo bar is a jasmine scented uh, shampoo bar. And pretty much... Um, the concept of this is you kind of rub it in your hands like soap and then you like lather it into your hair. It's really awesome and I think this is supposed to last up to like 80 washes. But I just really like it because it's all natural and stuff like that and you know I don't feel like it's completely stripping my hair of all of its natural oils. Uh, and it smells like jasmine so of course I'm going to love it. But this bar is called Godiva. Uh, but they have a bunch of other ones too for specific hair types and everything like that. So if you're interested, I would definitely check that out. And then the next uh, Lush product I have, this is called the Mask of Magnatomy. I think is that I think that's how you say that. This is a face and body mask, and this stuff is awesome. You just kind of rub it on your face for like five to ten minutes, and it looks kind of weird, but it's got an awesome texture. And it smells like, it smells like mint and like something real natural. I think the ingredients, honey, talc, uh, primrose seeds, peppermint oil, uh, marigold oil, vanilla. It's got a lot of like interesting scents to it. But I really like this because, you know, since I do wear so much makeup, you know, I feel like I never quite get all of the makeup off of my face. So that's a really good mask to use. I feel like it kind of like pulls everything out, you know, gets it kind of cleared up and makes sure the, that the makeup is all gone. You know, I don't do this every night either, you know, maybe like just a couple nights a week I think is good enough. And that thing will last me forever, so we'll see. So moving along to the next thing um, is this uh, NARS. This is their Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the color Light 2. I really like their concealer. Um, NARS is just awesome in general. But their concealer is really nice because um, it's just creamy and it does, I mean, the coverage is awesome. I can use this for breakouts or, I mean, it's a little bit lighter than, like, you know, like my foundation, so it's good for like highlighting too, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, I just really like it. This is just something essential that I um, have started using. Uh, so yeah, check it out if you're uh, looking for a concealer. So the next couple of things that I have here, um, you're going to recognize because my last couple of videos have been about them. But they are the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palettes. One of them is the Eye Palette, and then one of them is the Face Contour Palette. Now, the Face Contour Palette has, what, six different shades in it. Um, I've talked about this one before. Absolutely love it. I like that the colors are very matte, uh, very versatile. So, yeah, that one's nice. Um, but my ultimate favorite right now has definitely got to be the Eye one. Um, it comes with, like, what, one, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 different shades. 12 different shades to contour. I mean, like... And it's such a good range of neutral colors. 
I mean, it's just awesome. Like, I don't see how you could go wrong with this if you are looking for a neutral uh, palette. All of the colors are very matte. Um, and, of course, her packaging is wonderful. Um, it's just, like, the best quality stuff. Uh, I just, she knows me so well. That's all I can really say about it. Um, and kind of going with that, I have both of the contour brushes that she came out with. These are also a couple of my favorites this month. They kind of look like little coffins in the case. Um, the only thing I really don't like about the case is that they're really cheap. Like, I feel like these cases never close all the way. But other than that, it's cool. I like that they come in their own case. But let's see. This one right here is the face contour one. So you have the one that's for shading and the one for light. I really like that this is kind of tapered. It kind of helps you get, you know, all the little bits and pieces here. And I like that this is angled. It gives you kind of, it's good. It just works really well. And then the face one, or the eye one, I should say. I really, really like this brush. So you have your shade and light side. Apparently this is the light side and this is the shade. Um, I use the, I mean, to me I can't really get a lot of shading done with this. It's really good for like cut creases and stuff like that. But this side I actually tend to use more for shading than I do for lighting. But I mean, it's versatile. You can use it for anything. So I, I like the double end brushes. And so next what I have is a couple of not makeup things. Um, the first being my new purse that I got while I was in Atlanta last week. Tell me that is not the cutest purse. This is a Betsy Johnson. And as you can see, it looks like one of those old phones. Um, it's just so different. You can't really find anything like this here in Huntsville. And what's really awesome is that you can actually hook your phone into it and talk on this phone. So like your per your phone could be in your purse and then like you could just talk on this phone. And I think it's kind of funny because I feel like I'd want to do this in the car, you know? I don't know. It's cute. I like it. So it's functional and it's cute. I don't know. I like weird stuff like that. And then my last two things are two pairs of shoes. They look pretty similar, but they are different. I also got these walls in Atlanta, and it is the Jeffrey Campbell Jelly Flats. And I got the black pair and the silver pair. I already have another pair of these. They're like the dark gray ones that have the light sparkles, but so I got the clear ones with silver sparkles and just the shiny black ones. Dude, these were on sale for like 12 bucks at Nordstrom Rack. So I was like, I have to get both of them because I love my other pair so much. So yeah, I don't know. I like jellies. They're cute, good for summer, and they're Jeffrey Campbell's, which is like my favorite. So there you go. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I thought that I had a lot more, but I guess that was a lot. I don't know. Tell me what you think down there in the comments. So tell me if you've tried any of these products before or if you like them, don't like them, or if you have any questions about any of the products. Please let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, um, I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also my Instagram. And that is at Honest Deception. I will put that down below. So yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye!